elaborate a bit on what what you see as the three li like major mega trends right now? What could that be? Well, we have three uh, mega transforming powers going on right now. First of all, digitalization has taken us to a level where we are getting into some kind of feedback crisis, I would call it, where people don't actually talk to each other. So this is a very rare occasion. Uh, we are text messaging each other and soon we will have these speakers standing, they listen to our every need. So we become a kind of slave masters or like top managers in companies who become a kind of psychopath because they never get any feedback because people are afraid of getting fired. That's more or less the same position we are all getting in. And then we get some feedback from the social media or from our chatbots. But is that really useful feedback in terms of handling your taboos? So that is one where we see that we go from head hunting to team hunting, that it's very important to be near some people who are actually giving you feedback properly, listening to you, looking at you. So uh, we'll see some kind of a different workplace moving into that hunting teams instead of individuals. The second mega trend is uh, that we are being augmented as humans. You might have heard about Elon Musk putting a little chip in our head so that we have complete access to everything. So knowledge will no longer be a shortage. Uh, and we will also know how humans are feeling. And uh, for that, now being at a marketing conference, I think uh, one really good thing is that uh, shops are dying these days. If you try to make nice customer service, uh, for instance, trying uh, the shoes on, on my four kids, finally she's helped me finding all these shoes, or he has helped me, I say thank you very much. Then I do price runner, and I find the cheapest one online, and her shop will close down. Well, in the future, we have uh, facial recognition, they can see, okay, Lisa got really excited in this shop, she gave a fantastic service. So the producers of these shoes are actually making a payback function for her, which means that we're going to have fantastic showrooms in the future, because it's really worth your while making an effort. So we'll look back and say, we were like a desert back then, you know, we, nobody made an effort, everybody was just, uh, you know, trying to go for the low way. Finally, I think we have this uh, big mega trend of uh, being more conscious about society, the climate crisis. For the first time, you have kids growing up and they don't see their parents as authorities anymore. They see, I have parents who are actually destroying the planet. I'm looking at Greta instead. She knows that we have to do something. We just had new surveys saying that we could go as much as uh, four degrees uh, higher temperatures and that's in 100 years so you and me we can say oh well well we might live that long with uh, innovation who knows but at least these kids will still be alive they are expected to live till they are 120 so they are very concerned so i was the judge at the c40 which is mayors coming from all around the world for these kids uh, 500 kids they were between 13 and 16 and they said we want to have scientists to make this list of how to create a sustainable uh, society uh, according to the United uh, Sustainability Goals. And then we're making a kind of green LinkedIn and we'll put all the companies who are actually adhering to these principles in there. And these will be the only ones which we share the, uh, our data with. It will be the only ones we want to work with and it will be the only ones we want to shop from. And the rest will just filter them all using digital to get rid of them. So they were, and I, I spoke to some businesses who were like, can't we compromise? No, they don't want to compromise. They're very black and white, and they can really vote with their feet in this future because at the moment it's three and a half uh, people in the working force per elderly. When they go in there, it will be two, in the working force per elderly. So they can just vote with their feet saying, hey, I'm leaving. And I thought it was so fascinating that you have such young group of people from all around the world being that hardcore. I think, uh, I I think uh, back, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ms. Lord is also the facilitator <laughs> of, of the whole conference here. So I just want to thank you so much for having time to okay. visit us here. It was really thank good you meeting much. you. Thank you very much.